Hello YouTube, I'm Jack Clark, Geek Musketeer, coming to you with another video. Yes, I'm very, very sorry about my messy bed, but I've just watched a video by The Silent Enigma, and one thing I like about The Silent Enigma is despite all the profanity and the melodrama, oh dear lord, he does make a lot of sense. So to this, this video is going to be somewhat a, a response to said video. If you haven't seen the video, there'll be a link in the description down below to go to it. The title of said video is Yu-Gi-Oh! Players are some of the worst people on the planet. And um, notice how I said melodrama before, you can kind of see where this video is going. His main point was that, of course, people put themselves in the position where, because they're playing a children's card game, they feel like they can act like children. Now, that's not the conscious thought that goes through many people's mind. You don't purposely say to yourself, I'm going to act like a child because I'm in a situation which means I can do that. However, of course, he does have a very good point where if people think they can get away with stuff, they'll do that. And, of course, that is a behaviour that you would expect of a child. Yes. The fact that, of course, people are playing a children's card game, hence the, the emphasis on this term. Oh, dear God, the emphasis on children's card game is just too much. Of course, that just reinforces that approach. However, there is a line I must draw, which basically, if you're going to read this line, it will basically go along the lines of, Oh, dear God, get over it. Because something that Silent Enigma said was that, People will do things which are childish, and of course you expect someone to act like an adult when they get to the point where they should be acting like an adult and being brainwashed by society and, oh dear lord, melodrama Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. But that being said, people put them also in the position where they will get their taken advantage of. Which, I guess, yeah, I don't entirely agree with placing blame on the victim, but actually, if you go on the internet, for example, and you ex put out an opinion, you need to be well, required, and you need to be expected to be able to handle yourself. You don't go on the internet, give someone your credit card details and expect nothing bad to happen. You need to be prepared. You go to your Yu-Gi-Oh! locals and you go there with no knowledge of the people there, the business, the place, the kind of people there, any of your card values. Oh, where's my bag? Oh, look, I've just been robbed. And of course, as much as I don't want to play, put blame on the victim of said situation, just something Mingma has a point where actually there's a certain point where you're just going to go, Really? Come on! This isn't even just Yu-Gi-Oh! based, isn't it? Of course, his title was Yu-Gi-Oh! Players are some of the worst on the planet. And then, of course, I'm looking through the comments right now. I'm literally just watching... Uh, I literally just watched this video. So I'm going through all of the comments. Um, one of them being, Most people on the internet are horrible people, not only Yu-Gi-Oh! related. That's got 15 thumbs up. Well done. Um, main problem with that sentence that I find is how um, single-mindedness this is. Because this doesn't just apply to Yu-Gi-Oh! and the internet and young adults who are clinging to some kind of childlike fantasy. I'm not, I'm also just as guilty. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm playing Pokemon literally whilst filming this video. We all do it. We're all guilty of this. But of course, there are going to be dickheads out there. We can't avoid this. And I like to feel that I put myself in a place of apathy so to speak where i care so to speak but if it if it doesn't affect me i'm gonna leave it at that because actually people are responsible for their own shit so as much as i am contradicting that fact by doing this video talking about all the stupid people what am i gonna do the main point of the silent of this video was that ye did not like the attitude of play pool playing this game and as such, thought they were the worst people on this planet. Of course, that is not all the argument, and he doesn't mean that entirely, literally. And I do agree to a certain degree. But a part of me is just thinking, if it's not nothing to do with me, that's fine. This card game, and card games in general, have a stereotype that it is played by people who are clinging on to a childlike obsession. This is not going to change because there are some dickheads playing the game. There are always going to be dickheads who play the game. We just need to be able to adapt to said dickheads and just pay them no heed. If they're paid no heed, they'll stop doing it. And if it's because of greed or whatever, we need to become more aware of said dickheads and make sure they're not stealing your shit or uh, get your hands off my deck box, you prick. So, number one, there are always going to be dickheads in this planet. Yu-Gi-Oh! Internet aside, no. It's not just going to be a demographic of people. You will go into any workplace, you will go into any fandom, you will go anywhere, and you will find dickheads nowhere, no matter where you are. And you need to be prepared. If you are the dickhead, you need to be aware that, of course, your actions have 
consequences. We, of course, are playing a children's card game, but we cannot use the fact that we are playing a children's card game as an excuse for behavior, but to a certain degree as well. As long as you are prepared, you need to make sure you're not using stereotypes and the demographic of this game as an excuse. You play this game and you are, what, 20? I'm 22. You take care of yourself. You know what you're doing. Don't be petulant. Don't be a child. You are an adult. You're playing a children's card game. That does not define who you are. Playing a game, you find enjoyment from it. Playing this game hurts no one, except maybe your self-esteem. That's okay. Shut up. Make sure you protect yourself. Make sure you do not perpetuate any kind of unnecessary stereotypes. And make sure other people who are being dickheads that you do not encourage it and make sure that you try and go out of your way to make sure it doesn't happen. Because as much as I'm saying that you need to kind of take care of yourself, this game will be so much better if actually people have some kind of sense of community. Because I know that everybody who watches YouTube videos hate the idea of community and that it's kind of like one lone wolf against the world. But shut the fuck up, put your ego aside and let's move on together. This is a card game. And the good thing about card games is an interaction between two people where friends can be made and bonds can be made. I know, anime kind of references inside, it's kind of true. So calm down, there are going to be decades all around the planet, no matter where you are, card game or whatever, stop being so melodramatic, don't be a petulant child, play a card game, enjoy it, that's pretty much it. I'm Jack Clark, the Eagle Musketeer. If you like this video, please like it, pretty much it. I'm Jack Clark, the Eagle Musketeer, more videos coming out to you soon. I love this channel, and I love you guys, and I'm going to bugger off now. Bye!